Disney Frozen. Summer had arrived at last in the little kingdom of Arendelle. Even the youngest ice harvesters were hard at work, gathering ice for the warm months ahead. As night set in, they headed home with the northern lights to guide them. Inside the castle, Princess Anna excitedly awoke her older sister Elsa. Together, they sneaked into the Great Hall, where Elsa delighted Anna by creating a magical frozen playground. Princess Elsa loved using her secret magical powers to create ice and snow right inside the ballroom. Anna loved the slides, the snowballs, the snowman. It was all fun, until Elsa slipped and accidentally hit Anna with her powers. Frightened, Elsa cried out to her parents for help. Anna didn't remember getting hurt that day, or that the king and queen took her to the trolls. She just remembered all the fun she'd had with Elsa. When Elsa heard that the trolls had healed Anna, she was overjoyed. But Elsa also found out that her powers, though beautiful, were dangerous. She would have to hide her magic forever, even from Anna. Days went by, then weeks. Anna missed Elsa. Elsa never came out of her room to play anymore. Anna tried to play by herself, but she was still very lonely. Elsa's parents gave her gloves to control her feelings and her powers. They shut the castle gates to protect Elsa's secret, and Elsa avoided her sister, so she would never hurt Anna again. Years went by. Finally, Elsa's coronation day arrived. Anna loved seeing the gates open. It was so exciting to meet the guests, especially Prince Hans. He was handsome and, well, fun. Elsa was old enough to be queen, but she was worried about the ceremony. Alone, she practiced taking off her gloves and froze everything she touched. Anna couldn't stop thinking about Hans. Then, when she saw Elsa crowned queen, Anna wanted to clap and cheer. She was so happy. And later, Elsa actually talked to her. Elsa was relieved to get through the ceremony without freezing anything with her bare hands. As soon as she became queen, she put her gloves back on and even greeted guests with Anna. When Anna saw Hans again at the ball, they danced the night away. Then he asked her to marry him. And yes, she said yes. But when Anna approached her sister, the queen, Elsa didn't seem happy at all. Elsa could not believe Anna wanted to marry Prince Hans. Anna hardly knew him. The new queen refused her sister's request. Elsa only wanted to protect Anna. As Elsa walked away, Anna reached out and accidentally pulled off her sister's glove. Ice shot from Elsa's hand and spiraled across the room. Without intending to, Elsa froze nearly everything in sight. Anna stared in awe. She hadn't meant to upset Elsa. Anna felt terrible. Elsa had lost control. 
of her powers, of her feelings. She couldn't stop freezing things. Fearing that she might hurt someone, Elsa fled. Anna needed to help her sister. And she needed Elsa to thaw out their kingdom. Everyone was panicking. Leaving Prince Hans in charge, Anna raced after Elsa up into the mountains. But she didn't get far. High above her kingdom and free at last, Elsa created an incredible ice palace. For the first time since she was a little girl, Elsa felt like her true self. Summer was definitely gone. Everywhere. Anna stopped at Oaken's trading post, the only warm place in the middle of nowhere. She met an ice harvester named Kristoff, who knew where the coldest mountain was, which meant maybe he could help find Elsa. Kristoff's best friend was his reindeer, Sven. He even spoke for Sven. And that was weird, but okay. Except that Kristoff almost refused to help Anna. So Anna put her foot down and told him she knew how to stop the sudden winter. When he heard that, Kristoff agreed to help. Soon, the trio met a talking snowman named Olaf. Funny, Anna remembered him from her childhood. And wow, she was amazed by all the other frozen things Elsa had created. <laughs> At last, Anna reached Elsa's extraordinary ice palace. Kristoff waited outside with Olaf and Sven so that Anna could have some time alone with Elsa. Anna was surprised when Elsa greeted her. She looked so different. And, and they were talking. Maybe they could do that in Arendelle, too. But first, the winter had to stop. And Elsa needed to make that happen. Elsa loved seeing Anna, but told her that she had to leave. Elsa worried she'd hurt her sister again. When Anna said that Arendelle was frozen, Elsa was shocked. Lives were in danger, and Elsa didn't know how to fix it. Anna could see that Elsa was upset. She tried to help, but Elsa seemed out of control. Anna watched helplessly as several icy blasts exploded from Elsa's hands. One of them hit Anna. Elsa panicked. She didn't know how to stop Winter, and she didn't know how to stop hurting people. Elsa created a giant snowman to show Anna and her friends out. But when Anna accidentally aggravated him, the snowman chased them. Anna and Kristoff ran and escaped over a cliff with Olaf and Sven. <laughs> Alone in her ice palace, Elsa tried to regain control over her powers. She loved her freedom, but she hadn't meant to harm her sister or freeze Arendelle. Kristoff took Anna to the trolls. The trolls said that Elsa had put ice in Anna's heart. That meant Anna would freeze forever without an act of true love. True love. Anna needed Hans.
Elsa was alone in her ice palace when Hans and some other men arrived, looking for Anna. Elsa tried to escape, to hide, but the men attacked her, forcing her to defend herself. Elsa was taken back as a prisoner to Arendelle. After Kristoff helped her get home, Anna found Hans, but he refused to kiss her. Hans didn't really love Anna. All along, he had just wanted to take over as King of Arendelle. Anna felt hopeless as Hans left her alone to freeze. In Arendelle's prison, Elsa knew that she had to get away for her kingdom's safety. She felt her emotions getting out of control. The walls froze and cracked, and Elsa blasted out of the cell. Olaf found Anna and told her that it was Kristoff who truly loved her. If Anna could find Kristoff, then she might be saved. Kristoff was racing back to find her right now. Out in the storm, Hans told Elsa that her actions had destroyed Anna. Heartbroken, Elsa sank to her knees. Hans raised his sword. Racing across the fjord, Anna spotted Kristoff. At the same moment, she also saw Hans. He was going to hurt Elsa. In a final act to save her sister, Anna threw herself between Hans and Elsa. Hans' sword struck Anna. Elsa heard the sound of a sword shattering behind her. Anna! Anna had thrown herself in Hans's way to save Elsa. Slowly, Anna felt some warmth flowing through her frozen body and heart. By saving Elsa, Anna had performed an act of true love. This was the true love that the trolls had meant. Filled with sorrow, Elsa wept. She hugged Anna, no longer afraid of expressing her true feelings. And when she felt her sister thaw, Elsa wept for joy. Anna had saved her with her selfless act of love. Anna felt wonderful. She was alive and warm and Elsa had hugged her. Because of Anna, Elsa realized she could control her powers with love. She thawed the kingdom. She even made a little patch of cold so Olaf could stay and enjoy the summer he had always wanted. Hans was taken away, but Kristoff decided to stay near Anna for a while. Queen Elsa approved. Later, Elsa created a bit of winter for herself and lots of summer for everyone else. She even opened the gates to the kingdom. Anna was pleased. So was Elsa. Together, the two sisters decided that they would never close the kingdom gates again.